Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe here today from the Tech Slugs, and today I want to make a really simple video, yet quite complicated, on how to clear cache on your iOS devices. I've never made a video like this for Android devices because it's pretty simple. You just go into settings, then you go into the app settings, and you clear data. It's built in. On iOS, however, it's not built in. You'll have to delete the app and reinstall it if you want to actually get rid of the cache that's built up. And that's stuff that you just incur over time when you're using the money-making applications, stuff like checkpoints. You know, you're watching a bunch of videos, and the cache builds up and makes it slower, increases the file size, and yeah, you pretty much know what cache is. But basically, I want to clear it, and I don't want to have to delete the app and reinstall it, because that's a pain in and of itself. So in order to get this functionality on your iOS device, you're going to have to get a tweak from Cydia, so you will have to be jailbroken. I'm not going to go into all that right now, but stuff on this channel I've talked about, like remote access, also requires jailbreaking for iOS devices. So hopefully you are jailbroken already, or you've seen the value in it before. Once you get on Cydia, go to Sources, go to Edit, and then click Add. You're going to have to add this source right down here. It's pretty simple to memorize, but I'll also leave it in the description for you. After you add it, just click Refresh, so that way it gets all the packages from there. And from that point, go to Search, and type in... Let's reload the data here just for a minute. Type in Cache Clearer, and as you can see, I already have it installed. It's from this repo. It's free. No need to purchase anything. I don't even think you have to respring when you install it because it is pretty small. And once you install it, go back to your home screen, go into settings, and then go where you normally would to see your usage and your storage for all your apps. And then you can go in the app and instead of only having the delete option, this is the default. You only have the delete option. Now you have reset app and clear apps cache. I do both of them usually since reset app seems to clear any sign-ins that were on the app. Clearing the apps cache gets rid of the file size, but it doesn't appear to actually get rid of the login information. So you make your decision on which ones you want to use, but both of them work pretty well. So anyway, that is how to clear the cache on iOS devices. Not very intuitive. It would be nice if it was built in like on Android devices, but it doesn't seem to be. Hope that was helpful for you guys, and I'll be back later for more money-making videos. In the meantime, have fun making money. Quit using it, and then I started a few months ago. If you remember from the routine, I have 10 devices on it. Normally, we don't see these track phones very often anymore since I'm using more expensive devices for everything, but this is the deal for charger pay because it does work, and for the amount you're making, I thought